Hello, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, April 15th. But it actually looks like it could possibly be December 15th. Can you believe all the snow we had yesterday? And I think we're supposed to have snow tonight. I just may go sledding tomorrow. I'll have to make sure I wear my five items though. I don't want to be too cold, but it would be nice to go sledding. Hmm, maybe my mom's gonna let me. I bet if I do all my e-learning and maybe pick up around the house and make good choices, I bet that she will. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so I have another book. It's a pretty good one too. Um, but first, if you're not sitting crisscross applesauce, go ahead and do that now. And we've got to get those extra jiggles out so we can sit and watch the, the video a little. So let's scratch and get those jiggles out. There they go around the room. It's kind of funny how that happens every single time. We just shoot them right out and they get out and then we're able to calm down. All right, so keep our hands out. Let's bring them together. Let's rub them together. And because it's so cold outside, I have the perfect jam today. Because again, it kind of looks like December. So today's jam is candy cane jam. I know it's April, but just reminds me of December. I'm sitting here just thinking about all the snow that we may have tonight to be able to go sledding, and I'm so excited. So candy cane jam. All right, today's book is My Teacher is a Monster. Mm. All right, Bobby had a big problem at school. Her name was Miss Kirby. Because, well, Robert sometimes didn't make the best choices, like throwing paper airplanes all the way around the room. Do you think that Miss Kirby liked that? Hmm, I don't think she did either, because she would say, Robert! And Robert, of course, would get upset because he would get in trouble for making those poor choices. Hmm. Miss Kirby would say, move it or lose it. And then Miss Kirby would stop. Miss <clears throat> Kirby would say, settle down, class. <clears throat> or she would say, no recess for whoever threw the paper airplane across the room. Of course, Robert was like, Ooh, but I really wanted to go outside. Ooh. Hmm. Robert believed Miss Kirby really was a monster. I don't know if Miss Kirby was a monster or if maybe Robert was just making poor choices. I guess we should figure that out. Bobby loved to spend his free time in the park. He loved listening to the birds and the wind blow. On a warm sunny day, he had his favorite spot and the sun would come down on him and it just made him feel so good. And he would always try to forget about his teacher problems. But one Saturday, something very strange happened. On the way to his favorite, favorite spot, Bobby found a terrible surprise. I wonder what it is. Do you think it's an abominable snowman? I don't think so either. Maybe it was somebody that robbed the bank. Probably not either. I wonder what it was. Ooh, it could be Godzilla. Mm, okay, you're right. It's probably not Godzilla. Well, I guess we should wait and see by turning the page. <laughs> Bobby made it to a spot and Miss Kirby was sitting in his favorite chair and Bobby was like why why is Miss Kirby in my spot oh why 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 and Miss Kirby saw Robert Bobby wanted to run he wanted to hide but he knew that would only make things worse. And Miss Kirby just stared at him with those mean eyes that uh, Bobby says that she always makes. 
and Bobby didn't know what to do. He just sat there like this and thought to himself, if I just sit here long enough and don't say a word, maybe, just maybe, she's going to leave my favorite spot. So they sat there for a while. And they sat there, and they sat there, and they sat there. And Mrs. Kirby said, Robert, you don't need to raise your hand out here. What's the question? And Bobby said, um, well, I was just going to say, hi, Miss Kirby. And Miss Kirby said, hello, Robert. I like coming out here and sitting. And Bobby said, I like your enormous hat, Miss Kirby. And Miss Kirby said, thank you, Robert. And Robert said, um, Miss Kirby, it's really strange to see you outside of school. I just assumed that you lived there. And Miss Kirby said, I agree, Robert. It's strange to see you too. And then they just sat there for a little bit longer. Bobby just stared. And Miss Kirby just stared. Bobby didn't know exactly what he should do. Because again, he really liked his favorite spot. And he didn't want to make Miss Kirby mad. And he didn't want to be rude just by getting up and leaving. So he sat there and thought, Maybe I'll just wait for Miss Kirby to leave. Then something interesting happened. There was a big gust of wind, and that changed everything. The gust took Miss Kirby's enormous hat and flew it through the air. And Miss Kirby yelled, That's my favorite hat! My dear granny gave it to me. Don't let it get away. And just before it was going to go into the lake, Bobby jumped up and grabbed it. And he said, I got it, Miss Kirby. Here's your hat. And Miss Kirby was so, so, so thankful. And Bobby was so happy that he was able to help. Miss Kirby said, Oh, Bobby, you're my hero. And he gave, Miss Kirby gave him a big, giant hug. And she said, I mean, that was very good of you, Robert. And Miss, or Robert, or Bobby said, You're welcome, Miss Kirby. Those ducks sure do like you. And Miss Kirby said, I know. I enjoy them quacking. I feed them all the time. So when they see me, they always come up. They're really nice ducks. Have you ever fed the ducks here? And Bobby said, um, every once in a while I do. And then Miss Kirby went, quack, 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 quack. And Bobby went, quack, 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 quack. And the ducks went, quack, 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 quack. And Bobby and Miss Kirby started to feed the ducks. And Bobby was having a lot of fun, and he thought to himself, hmm, maybe Miss Kirby isn't all that bad. He thought to himself, anybody that brings food to feed the ducks, I mean, really, how bad can they be? When they were all quacked out and out of bread, Bobby had an idea. He told Miss Kirby, you should see my favorite spot in the park. I don't ever bring anybody there. Would you like to see it? And Miss Kirby said, um, yes, I would actually. Just be careful. And Bobby said, yes, Miss Kirby, absolutely. And so they climbed and they climbed and they climbed and they climbed and they climbed all the way up to the top of the Rock Mountain. Miss Kirby said, Robert, this is lovely up here. And then Miss Kirby had an idea. She said, Robert, I know how much you like to make paper airplanes. Would you like to make a paper airplane up there, up here? Think about how far it will fly. 
And Bobby was like, Miss Kirby, that sounds like a great idea. And Miss Kirby, being a teacher, had paper in her, her purse. And so she pulled the piece out and she gave it to Bobby. Uh, Bobby started folding and folding and folding and folding and folding and folding and folding until he had a super great paper airplane ready to be thrown from the very top of this rock mountain. And on three, Bobby tossed the paper airplane into the sky and it flew 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 some more. And Bobby and Miss Kirby were like, oh my goodness, look at how far that paper airplane's flowing. And Miss Kirby said, good job, Robert. That was a really good paper airplane that you made. And Bobby said, I know, it was the best one that I've ever made, and you helped me with it. Thank you so much. They went all the way down to where it was on the ground. And Bobby said again, I think that was the single greatest paper airplane flight in the history of paper airplanes. And Miss Kirby said, Bobby, I think that you're right. That was such a good job. You worked really hard on it, and look what happened. When you threw it, it flew, and it flew, and it flew, and it flew, and it flew. So, so good. I cannot wait to tell the other kids in your class how well that paper airplane went. And Bobby thought for a second, Oh, that's right. I don't really like Miss Kirby. But maybe I do, actually. I mean, look at she doesn't even really look like a monster anymore. And she's being so nice to me. Hmm. Interesting. By lunchtime, Bobby and Miss Kirby were happy they had bumped into each other. They went and sat back on that bench, and they just watched, and they had a little polite conversation. And when Bobby was ready to go, he said, Bye, Miss Kirby. Thank you so much for playing with me today. I really, really enjoyed it. And thanks for the help with the paper airplane. And Miss Kirby said, Oh, Bobby, that was such a fun time. Thank you for being nice to me. Sometimes in class, you really don't follow the rules and you really make poor choices. And I would really love for you to work on that. And Bobby said, Absolutely, Miss Kirby. Only because you were so nice to me. Now, Miss Kirby was nice to Bobby all the time. It was just Bobby was making poor choices when he was in class. At school, Miss Kirby still stomped every once in a while and said, Coming through! And Miss Kirby still roared sometimes when she got angry because the class wasn't quiet and wasn't following directions. But, sometimes... Miss Kirby said, great job, Bobby. You did an excellent job on your test, and you've been making good choices all day long. I'm very proud of you. So, I ask, is Miss Kirby still a monster? Think about that for a second. Do you really think that Miss Kirby's a monster? Do you think that Bobby thinks Miss Kirby is a monster? Well, Bobby does every once in a while when he gets in trouble and Miss Kirby has to say, Robert Hallway. The end. Did you guys like that one? I thought it was pretty good. All right, so remember, continue working on that e-learning. I know sometimes you're like, I don't want to do my e-learning anymore. I'm so tired of doing e-learning. But I promise, it's not that bad. It's just easier to do it. I mean, think about it. If you were at school, you'd be doing a lot more work. So if you got your e-learning done, then I imagine that your parents are going to allow you to do some fun activities like maybe watch TV or play some video games or play with your brothers and sisters or do something fun. So keep working on that e-learning. Continue making great choices. And 
I hope that it does snow like the weatherman said it's going to because I think I'm going to go sledding or maybe build a snowman or maybe build a snowman and go sledding. I don't know. Tons of possibilities. All right. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Goodbye.